high. Since the cat has announced that a number of questions will reduce, so we say it's a new cat pattern. Now, whenever there is some change, the one of the biggest change that normally happens is in the Diala section. So even if you look at last year, the biggest change that happened was in the Diala section. The sixth question was a surprise element. I mean, there was no major surprise in the purple and the quant, except that the questions were moved. But the Diala changed with the sixth question pattern. So it's the most unpredictable section whenever there's a change in the pattern. You certainly will have all logic questions. You will certainly have a different type of questions. And that's where you need to be careful about. So let's look at the scenarios which are possible as far as Diala. So you could have 20 questions, five sets, four questions. 20 questions with two sets of four questions or two sets of six questions. Like last year, there were two sets of six questions, remember? Or 22 questions with four sets of four questions and one set of six questions. I mean, there could be a, other changes also. You could have five question set, etc. I'm not saying no. But yes, DILR is unpredictable as far as the cat is concerned. But assuming that they mention a pattern is going to same, so I'm assuming there will be still four question sets in the exam. So considering these scenarios, you need to plan your paper accordingly. So first thing that you need to plan is a selection of questions. So if there's a six question set and a four question set, the selection of questions will differ based on a number of questions. So that means you need to have a separate scenario as to how you select the six question set and how you select a four question set when there is maybe a 20 question paper or when there's a 22 question paper. Okay, take different scenarios and plan and have a strategy for the same. Secondly, the number of sets, uh, it could be four sets or five sets. And that could completely change the way you plan your paper. Four sets will give you less sets to choose from. I mean, you save time in choosing the sets, but also less time is wasted in selection of sets. Remember that. But yes, the strategy for a four set and a five set paper will differ. So ensure that you prepare for the strategy well, if I as far as the number of questions is concerned. Also, 40 minute DR section was tricky, as a lot of people found out last year. And if you're writing the mocks, you'll realize it. I mean, if you're not able to solve one set, the stress levels improve, increase because a lot of time is wasted on one set of DLR. So have a proper strategy for all scenarios, specifically for DLR, because that becomes a very tricky scenario as far as the exam is concerned. So look at different scenarios, what is possible, make a plan and go about it. Remember last year when the paper was there, they didn't announce anything about how the paper is going to be beforehand. So no one knew how many questions were going to be there. No one knew whether there were six questions or four question paper. It was really, really difficult. If the same thing happens this year where they don't announce how the paper is going to be, you will have to be prepared for different scenarios for the exam. I hope that helps. Thank you.